This video was brought to you by Marcus Beal, Elbil Mac, a battery planner, stolen by Camp Power and Beal Componente. Yo, what's up? We're now at Ionte Dawn, and today we're gonna do a range test of Tesla Model 3 Highland. This is rear wheel drive, you know, the, well, it was called uh, the SR Plus, right? It has a 60 kilowatt hour LFP battery. It's from uh, Shanghai, and it is possibly the most efficient car, but also the best bang for the bucks. This press car costs 355,000 nook and you cannot find anything out there that has over 500 kilometers of range. Well, actually, that's what Tesla claims, 513 kilometers. Can we get that from 60 kilowatt hour battery? Let's find out. It looks more or less like the regular uh, Highland, you know. Uh, it lacks subwoofer, it lacks some speakers, uh, but other than that, it also lacks the stock, but that's <laughs> that's tested in, in a nutshell. So other than that though, the interior looks nice. We have the ambient light here. See? Oh yeah. I'm now running um, sexy buttons. So, but yeah, but I, I don't, I haven't even installed a sexy button. I just connected, you know, you have to get the OBD over there, but I'm missing the adapter. It's in, in Moshkus Beals Highland right now that OBD adapter and I know yeah you can do you can use um, uh, Scalma Tesla with um, with sexy button but that only works for um, beta users of uh, uh, Android well okay whatever but here we can see some stats here you can see that um, we have 59.4 kilowatt hour nominal full and then minus uh, energy buffer so that's uh, 57 something uh, yeah, roughly 57 kilowatt hour. I used the old number, 56.9 kilowatt hour actual test. So um, yeah, battery temperature is 34 degrees Celsius. But also you can see here remaining range. Okay, I haven't charged the car to 100%. It's only at 78%. But other than that, it looks more or less like the, the other test last, right? So um, the test is to drive. Okay, oh, okay. I had to click here, I forgot. Okay, I'm a new. The regular test now is to drive from here. And I will do the 90 test first, and I'm gonna drive all the way to Hurudshögna uh, back again. And I will also do the coasting test. We have tailwind now. Let's see how far we can coast. Can we coast beyond uh, the other the MEB cars? Because you know, remember that this Highland. Wait, how do I get back to the Highland? Okay, now it eventually goes back to it. But this Highland has the best drag coefficient ever. I don't remember what it was again. 2.199 or something yeah so it should be really good i can't wait to find out all right we're on the move and we have to cruise at 92 kilometers per hour to match 90 gps speed so uh, yeah it's raining slightly so that actually makes the surface uh, well slightly worse for the consumption but it's not that much though so, and the temperature is still nice and well i wouldn't say super high 20 degrees celsius but uh Hopefully we get some good numbers. So far, it's not looking that great. 125 watt hour per kilometer. Ooh. Okay, let's check the weight of the car. Front axle. 900 kilograms. The whole car. 1860, just like before. And then how's Mjösen today? Oh, very little wind. At least that's an uh, advantage for us. The rain though might mess up your consumption slightly, but uh, right now we are at 107 watt hour per kilometer. So it's time to say, classic Ionic, go home. We are passing by Espa and uh, over here it's still raining, which is not uh, ideal for the consumption, but it's still very low, 111 watt hour per kilometer. You know, I was praising the ID7 for being efficient, but there's nothing compared to Model 3. Wow. Well, okay, this is still a smaller class than uh, ID7, but uh, yeah. And also here, just like the other Teslas, when you navigate to a point on the map here, you can see how many percent you will arrive with, and then also how many percent you will uh, uh, get back here at the starting point with. And this is highly accurate stuff. We're talking about Tesla alien technology here. We don't need a better route planner. This is the best route planner. But just because this is poor man Tesla doesn't mean that the comfort has been reduced. It still has the nice same ride and the nice awesome new soundproofing in the Tesla. Unlike any Tesla before, 
even better than the flat you still get it here in the poor man's tesla okay you might have slightly reduced the number of speakers so that we're going to find out how good is the sound system now one well, still okay nice and clear at least whoa still some punch in the bass okay i'll try vanta black well, let me skip it it starts kind of slow okay autopilot goes a bit now wow just want to slam some doors no, but i'm impressed that they okay they downgraded the stereo but it still sounds pretty good and there's still that nice punchy bass and still well balanced sound all over okay wow You can call me Ionic Bjorn, you can call me Kia Bjorn, you can call me Volkswagen Bjorn, but I'm still deep inside Tesla Bjorn. Wow. Okay, I'm not sure about the other songs here, but okay. But yeah, so overall, sounds very good. I have to, I have to check one, one thing else. What about if I go really loud? Do we hear clipping? Almost no clipping, it's really clear. Man, yeah. Uh, if I would give it points, well, um, maybe I'll give it a, a good seven. Somewhere between seven. Okay, maybe not eight. Seven. Seven. Yes. Tesla Bjorn has spoken. All right, let's try the coasting test. Now we have to look at the rear inverter here. Um, I have to wait for it to be zero, and then I'm gonna use the new. There, there, there. there, we are neutral now. I have to press the button on the top of the. Well, well I'm in, on the ceiling of the car. All right, we pick our speed. Can we hit 120 kilometers per hour? Barely legal speeds. Hmm. The road is slightly wet, which is not ideal. But should be low wind over here, or maybe yeah, not sure if we still have tailwind over here. But it seems like it's not picking up that much speed because it's so light. Well, let's see. At least can we at least coast past uh, the Ionic and uh, ID3 point? Oh, we're 120. Oh, but is it almost 120 GPS speed? Wow, look at that, huh? Elon Musk for president of United States of America. I'm just kidding. Oh, 124 at least. Yeah, so that should be 122 GPS speed. Wow. Amazing, man. Simply amazing how this car just slices through the air like butter through cheese. Wait, uh. Okay, well, well, pay attention there. But you know the asphalt is getting rougher and rougher every year, which means that uh, there is more uh, more uh, rolling resistance getting introduced. Plus that it's only 19 degrees Celsius over here. Ideally, we need around 25 degrees Celsius. But it's really amazing how far it can just glide. Look at this. Okay, wait. So the Ionic and ID3 hit 90 around yeah. Well, actually, it's 92 on the display here, right? It was around here, wasn't it? Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. It went past it, but then oh, oh, we're getting dangerous because of 92 now. 93, oh my God, 92! Oh, oh, there, wait, wait, there, there, okay, there, there. Oh, wow! Right before this exit sign. Whoa! That is impressive, shit, man. But look here, this is a very nice feature with the sexy button. Normally, when you change lane and you don't have FSD or uh, enhanced autopilot, you have to re-enable autopilot every time. It's freaking annoying. But the sexy button has a setting which detects that you change lane, and then it will re-enable autopilot for you. Wait, wait for it. 
There, see? <laughs> so, I mean, as long as you buy the poor man's car, you also have to buy the poor man's uh, enhanced autopilot. Okay, it doesn't work the same way, but it's way cheaper than the enhanced autopilot. Oh yeah, the sun has entered the chat. And I can see in mirrors that we have, well, still a little bit of wind. But, you know, this car is so aerodynamic that it doesn't matter, almost. Especially at low speed, so... What? 111 watt hour per kilometer? <laughs> but we have some uphills here. Can't wait to see what the consumption is by the end of the trip now. All right, we're done with the test. And look at this 113 watt hour per kilometer. That is a record. The best I had so far was 118 watt hour per kilometer, also Model 3. So yeah, and then, okay, distance 183, there is no decimal here. So this could actually be 182.5 also. I'm not sure exactly how much it is, but my butt feeling says that we have roughly half percent over reporting. So yeah, that means we have to correct for this is also half percent higher, but still really, really good. So now it's time for me to say, bow down to Lord Elon Musk. He made the most efficient car ever. And then we're gonna see how efficient is this Model 3 Highland in the high-speed test? <laughs> wow, this car is just so nice and quiet. Let me test the right lane, which is rougher. You see? Or you don't see, you hear it. There's not much, that much difference between rough asphalt and smooth ass. Oh. We just turned around at Strandlöcha and now we're heading back and uh, the consumption right now is 154 watt hour per kilometer. Hey, stop cheating! <laughs> that is incredibly low. You know, legacy automakers at 90 kilometers per hour, they'll be hovering around 150 watt hour per kilometer. This car is just insanely efficient. The old record is, again, Model 3 with 166 watt hour per kilometer. So if we can get on the display here to be less than 167, then we have a new wiener. All right, consumption this time, 154 watt hour per kilometer. Corrected is 155, but still, that is a big, big new record, man. Holy macaroni, this car, this machine from the future, from, I don't know, out of space with alien technology. Okay, so now I'm down to 23% battery. I want to do a charging test. And uh, the battery is at 29.5 degrees. I think it wants to be around 45 degrees at least. So we can do this. Battery preheating with the sexy button. Uh, or we can also navigate to, okay. Uh, you see battery inlet goes up now. It starts heating up the battery. Uh, but okay, if I stop this for now, I can also let me show you guys how, how awesome Tesla is. Do this, and I want to go to the cleaver. No, I want to go to Garden One and charge there. And then also, yeah, okay, you see here preconditioning battery for fast charging. Oh, yeah, so now it heats the battery for maximum speed. Okay, now we just drive a little loop around here to uh, drive down the battery and also to heat it up. But this is strange, it stopped showing uh, preheating there. But I can see that it's still preheating here, but uh, even if it stopped, I can always manually preheat via the uh, sexy button app. We are we're now at Garden One Supercharger getting 170 kilowatt. Oh, 169. Wait, yeah, okay. well, it's, it's not trolling already. What? Okay, this ain't no BYD blade battery. But okay, I'll uh, see in the charging test now how long it can maintain this speed. So based on test today, you see they can go almost 500 kilometers and that is very close to the claim 513 kilometers of VLTP. Okay, that's a different test, uh, test scenario, but uh, I think if I would actually follow the speed limit and go a Sunder drive, I could easily go 550 kilometers, maybe not 600, but uh, I don't know, maybe 570 kilometers maybe, which is right on par with I mean, big, uh, Škoda Enyaq, the old Škoda Enyaq at least, you know, way bigger battery, okay, slightly different car, bigger car, but still the efficiency in this Tesla is just king. And also when it comes to the 120 kilometers per hour efficiency, it is just unmatched, it's uh, unmatched, it's top of the crop, you see. When the people say that, yeah, but uh, the legacy automakers, they're catching up with Tesla. Well, guess what? Tesla has been making improvements as well. So they are still ahead of the pack. Wow, so this is awesome. You know, 
even in 2024, range still matters. But okay, I'm, okay, range might not always matter. You don't need a 120 kilowatt hour battery, but uh, money matters. Yes, so that means that you can buy this car, and it's some of the cheapest out there. But it performs really, really well. But you don't have to skimp on the comfort or the premiumness or other features in this car. You still get the same good stuff like uh, dog mode, senti mode, uh, the nice navigation, the big screen, uh, the nice seat, you know, you get all that stuff and also good range. So man, uh, if the Tesla refer program will still be uh, active, I would say go buy one. Well, I will actually, yeah, so that's why I can't say go buy the Tesla now. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I can't wait to test Sunday driving. Uh, hopefully, I can find some nice weather. The, min the only minus with Tesla is that they only uh, usually they only lend press cars out for four days, and then one day for picking up, one day for returning. That means only two affected day of, of testing. So, but 1,000 kilometer challenge is very important, and also Sunday driving. So, I'll see if I can make it happen. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.